What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father at Amazon, Kindle, and Create Space. Link will be in the description box below as usual. Go get it. PayPal link there also asked me to put it up, so I put it up. Thanks everybody for supporting. This video is entitled We're Groomed for Toxic Relationships. I was talking to my son yesterday, and he was venting. And at a point, he just brought up something that was just out of the blue. And I'm like, why did you even say that? But what, what came right after that is how he was okay with the, situ with the people in the situation. And I'm like, you know, if you don't like these people so much, why are you... But you're cool with them. Don't you think the, it's problematic to say, you don't, you, when you guys are doing something toxic together or you're doing something toxic to, to someone else, it's all good. But when it, when it comes back to you, you know, you don't like it, but you still love the people that do it to you because of the history. And, and I thought about it a little longer and I said, you know, in our community, in society, but in our community, I'm talking about, we've we've gotten groomed to be in toxic relationships. One of the things about back in the day with the Cosby Show, and even Family Matters, to a degree, The Fresh Prince, was you know nobody lives like that, and they were talking, and, and class was part of it, but the other part of it was the relationship was actually not toxic. Now, we don't want to talk, we don't want to go into the ideology of maybe, you know, who are you staying, like when people are functioning together, that's boring. When people are dysfunctional, that's exciting. You know, you can have two people actually building together. Because now we're talking about, we keep hearing people talk about build together. Well, here's the thing. If you build together, you might be a little too tired to have the best sex of your life every night. So for all you people who want to build and then the sex drops off because both of you are tired from building all day together. That's because you were groomed for toxic relationships. The other thing, the vulnerability aspect. We were groomed not to be vulnerable with each other because people see kindness for weakness. People see vulnerability, vulnerability as a, as a um, opening to stab you in the heart or the back. They looked at it as a chink in your armor. So how can you build a, a functional relationship with a person that you can't be vulnerable with? You were taught to be hard with the very person that you're supposed to be close to. So you groom for a toxic relationship. You know, this ideology that pain is love. If this person pushed you through a lot of, of, of painful experiences, you love them because you stay. And if you, but you don't love yourself enough to leave. Or eventually, they'll do right by you. But the person that does right by you on a regular basis, it just seems a little too normal, you know. Now, you know, we, we were taught, how can I say this? We were taught to have confirmation bias. Because I'm going to say something after that. But where we were taught to pick people and court people, you know, who prove our negative stereotypes of the opposite sex to be true. This is why I used to bring up the fact that the, the, the husband type and the wife type, people want to come back to them because they assume that they're going to still be there because... Nobody wants 
the husband type or the wife type until they've got enough confirmation bias to say all these people is trash exactly the same way I was told that they were trash. But if you go looking for trash, you know, you know, if the people are trash and you dumpster diving, you have some type of responsibility, but you were groomed to go dumpster diving to say, look at all this trash. But husband material and wife material are, are sitting back like, I don't have to dump in the dive in the dumpster to see this trash. I can see it's trash from here. And I'm not getting in it. So now you got these people who got their bias confirmed, but now they want to be with that husband material, wife material, but they still got the stench of dumpster and trash all over them. I'm a good person. I just happen to be playing in the trash. No. You went looking for trash because, you know, it's justifying you being trash too. Now, the reason I say that is because <sighs> in the trash, we've groomed people to use people. You know, if, if, if a woman meets a man, you know, she can use him for his resources. If a man meets a woman, he could use her for her body. And then nobody has a has an issue with that. Now, it, it spills over into this aspect. We're groomed to not do anything for the opposite sex. You know, when people talk about submission, you know, let's just say you won't submit because they used to say it's like slavery. And this goes both ways. Guys don't want to commit because you people are, people don't want to be of service to the quote unquote person that they love. They want the person that they love to be ser to be of service to them. So when you're groomed to say, "Let me get you to do stuff for me, serve this royalty right," like I'm tired of you know I know it might sound cold to say this. I'm tired of people calling themselves kings and queens because you you don't have the humility enough to be a servant for the person that you're with. You know, you want that person to bend the knee. But you don't have a plan to, to serve them in certain ways. You know, you know, so every, you know, somebody's on a pedestal here and somebody is here. So we got this, the ego trip of, you know, I'm the, I'm the catch. I'm the prize to the point that I can never, I can't be of service to the other person in this relationship. Ridiculousness. Um, now, the last thing that I could say. And some other things I wanted to talk about, but I was actually going to do a live on this. Um, we got deal breakers galore. We're groomed to have a million deal breakers. You know, and a lot of these deal breakers are frivolous. A lot of these deal breakers shouldn't even be on a table. Because in all, in all reality, people shouldn't be doing this type of stuff to other people that they want to be in a relationship with. But the reason I say he's got deal breakers galore because there's a million deal breakers, but how many reasons do you have to stay together? How many reasons do you have to have to do, to do right by another person? You know, how many things bring you together? This is a problem to me. Because the boys are, are taught 
that the girl's not going to be anything. The girls are taught the boys are not going to be anything. So there's no love there. I went to see uh, uh, um, the movie The Good Boys a couple weeks ago. It's a hilarious movie. But also, we were taught that, you know, relationships are work. Everything in life is work. But, you know, <laughs> if you're passionate about something, it's not work. It's you're enjoying it. But it, we're not passionate about each other, so we were taught to not be passionate about each other. So that's why there's a lack of passion. I was just talking to my homeboy not too long ago, earlier today, and I was like, I, I don't listen to a lot of the music anymore because it just doesn't have any feeling in it. Because it lacks passion. It has a lot of angst, but not a, no positive feelings. It's, it's, it's dead of something that can connect to you. But this is my thoughts on this particular subject. I'm done. Catch y'all later. Like, share, subscribe. Peace.